Well, we did it. Look at here. Our incredible boxes. Got them lined up. This is a $20,000 house, everybody. It's called Grab and Go. Right now, you can back your truck up to this sucker and head down the road. It's ready, all right? You've got to, and we're going to show you the inside of this right now. Full kitchen, full bathroom, full bedroom, ready to go, 8 by 16 $20,000 house. Stop. There's nowhere else in the world or the country you can buy a $20,000 house that you can live in forever. Come on. Come and get you one while it's hot. Hot and ready. Now, wait a minute. I just turned it well, on. Come on in. How am I going to get up there? Well, that ladder. What? Let me get. Let me get the ladder. Hold on. Okay. Well. Now we're inside. Now Look we're at inside. This. You come inside. Look at what we have. We got a vinyl floor. Get it. <laughs> Where do you go? Where do you go? Let's get it. Come on. Where do you go? Where do you go? So we got a beautiful vinyl floor. Yes. Look, nice. All right. This is a beautiful vinyl floor. You got a plug right here. Yeah. Oh. So if you ever wanted to put, you, Mandy, you could actually put a washing machine underneath here mm -hmm. or a refrigerator. A if you wanted, washer dryer, yeah, yeah, and you could put a closet here if you wanted to. That's new. Mm -hmm. Now we lowered this to about two inches. This will get a ten cubic foot refrigerator. We lowered it a little bit because we do offer off grid, completely off grid, and we'll put a tankless water heater up there and get rid of the electric water heater. That's for another video. Ooh. Over here we have two plugs on the end. So the only protrusion of the base that we have is on this back wall. You have two plugs. So if you have a bed this way or long ways nightstand chair ample plugs yes. we have another plug low here so if you have a table here kind of like a little desk mm -hmm. you can put your computer or we have a plug here so you can put a tv right there yeah, absolutely. all right real quick on the measurements because uh, it's yeah. a little bit of a slanted roof what's the measurement nine there? foot on the back mm -hmm. eight foot on the front slopes down a foot so we'll come here here's your panel box up high this is the final plan. This is what's been produced constantly throughout the day. We build three a day, even EV, we're easy. We're getting up to four and five a day, yep. depending on our load of production. Mm -hmm. Water heater up top, loft up here, 18 inches in the front, 16 in the back. This is 38 by 92, all right? That's your loft area. Here's your 36 inch, 36 inch shower. Mm -hmm. This is not an RV. Look no. at the room that we have, 36 inch showers here. And everything is bought from Lowe's. Mm -hmm. the, everything in here can be replaced from your local Lowe's store. Your windows, your faucets, your light fixtures, any mechanical things, the plugs, the switches, the and wires, the, the toilets, the supply lines. You put the regular cough and stuff like that. People will Everything cough is from Lowe's. You can mm -hmm. go to your local Lowe's, replace, buy, add anything to these. Right. I love this house. We're going to show you what one looks like after you paint it. Yes, Thank you absolutely. Very much. Bye. We'll be right back. <laughs> and, hey, before we run off and, and we're going to show you what one looks like, I know it's going to be edited, but this right here is Pacific West Associates, all right? So that right there is our ANSI NFPA certification, all right? That means this is a legal certified RV, just like you get from up out in Elkhart, Indiana, and it's heading down the road and you're going to pull up to an RV, plar RV park. That right there says, hey, this house is certified electrically, structurally, it's ready to go, and it's legal to be an RV. All right, come on. And you get that with a $20,000 house. 20 grand. Come on. This house is insulated. It, I live in this house. We've had people live in these homes now for over a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Cold, hot, you name it. Up here, this is an extra plug, so let me show you. We do not put a mini split in this thing or heating and air. You know why? It's because a little porcelain heater will heat this whole thing. I always said a, a match and an ice cube will mm -hmm. heat and cool it, right? Well, this is a little plug we put here, and these walls can be cut with a skill saw and pop you in a little fridge, I mean, an air conditioner right there, right? And you yeah. can plug it in. Heating, no problem. Now, there's other heating. We've got some off grid heating we're featuring, but if you're on grid and you want a little Walmart heater, I used mine, barely turned it up. I kept it down low because the heat always rises. Mm -hmm. Perfect in here. Perfect. All right, let's go see what one looks like completely done. Okay.
All right, we're in our beautiful enchanted forest community here in Newport, yes. Tennessee. And we're going to show you the incredible box that I was just standing on and inside showing you. That was an unfinished DIY that you get. And we're going to show you what a little bit of paint does to those beautiful little homes. Here you go. We put a little wood accent on the side, on the bottom. Nothing. It's just a one by board. You put screws on it and you're done. And it does not cause it to leak, okay? People have asked about that. Shutters, just attach. I'm really looking into a lot of magnetic features that we can use to put things on the outside and the inside. Of course, Amanda's picked all these colors out. Look at Ace wanting to get in here. Look at the inside of this. And remember, all we did was paint the walls. This is it. So you all, Amanda's added some, of course, furniture, what you would do to your own home, right? And this is a staged model, so you mm -hmm. can see how things fit. Now remember, this is a 16-foot house. Work it. Can you do this in a 16 foot camper, Amanda? No. Nine foot ceilings on that end, eight foot on this so end. So pretty in 18 here. inches high for storage up here. Yes. 38 by 92 inches for your storage. 36 inch shower, regular full toilet, lots of space. The window was brought back a foot so you can put shelving above your toilet. We've changed this, as you can see. Yes. We've changed that feature from the one I was just in. This is the water heater. It is now raised up high, and there's a closet you underneath. Have a closet. It. So yes. now you have a full closet and a plug under here for a washer and dryer if you wanted to add the, the, the drain and the water or a refrigerator underneath yes. here. But I like to walk over here and give you a full perspective. Of course, it's got a coffee table, it's got another chair, sofa. This is a full size sofa, so it's 92 inches across. Of course, a bed would normally be here for somebody living here full time, right? Absolutely. You can have yourself a, a twin bed, full bed. I've even had a queen bed and still had room. And then I mounted my TV up there because there's a plug up high for your TV entertainment center. So look at the size of this. I love this house so much. You can entertain people. So you're in a 16 foot house, mm -hmm. 16 foot long, 92 inches wide, full kitchen. So we kind of put a little bit of coffee maker in here, trying to show you about living in here. Of course, I live in one. Here's your sink. Yeah. Gooseneck faucet. 20 grand. 20 this grand. This is stupid. I don't know how much longer I mean, we I can sell these for 20 have, grand. I probably have $500 maybe worth of decor in here. That's it. Really? Yeah, that's it. Well, the table was probably, the table and the, the sofa was the biggest purchase. And I know so somebody living in here is going to have to have a bed, or that could be a sofa bed, or how they want sure. to do it, you know. But I love the bathroom. Man, the, the bathroom, I know it's 38, 36 inches wide, right? Yes. So you got plenty of room to sit here. Now, what we do is we move this toilet over just a little bit towards this wall, because mm -hmm. if anybody ever wanted to put a curtain or a door on this or side, a door. now yes. we've changed this, this switch to the outside so they can put a door in mm -hmm. here, right? So we do, and this is a 29 inch opening. Our new ones, we've actually made it up to about 33 inches open. Okay. And we remember, we have a refrigerator right here, water heaters up high, yep. gives it more There's space the, for storage. There's the loft up there, plenty of Love storage it. for that. Yep. How wide, was this one of the smaller ones or is this 36? It's a 36. Okay, so that's 36 36 well. inch shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a 16 foot house. I mean, come on. You know, we even had our 10 by 20s, we couldn't get a 36 in. Right. But this floor plan allows it being at the end of the house Full bathroom, bet you got a, a window in here, mm -hmm. you got a plug behind the toilet. I don't know what else we can do to this. Now this is DIY. You can see it's built out of our steel insulated foam closed cell polyurethane. Got us a mouthful panels, right? <laughs> it really it is. is. But it's completely engineered, ANSI certified, ready to go, 20 grand. Put your kid in it, put your mom in it, put your dog yes. in it, put yourself in it, put anybody in it for 20 grand. Hey, I can say, you know what, everybody? Hard times are coming. Get ready. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I wish I'd had one of these years ago oh for myself. Oh, my goodness. Me too. I live in one right now. This yep. is this is my home. I love it. I love the countertop space, all the cabinetry that we have here. These are the same cabinets that same we put in our high-end homes. In the models. We just featured our home last night. $100,000 home mm -hmm. going on a mountain. Same cabinets. Is Look, soft what clothes. beautiful. We call this an anti-pissed off <laughs> drawer. You can learn to slam it. So you can't exactly. slam it. No. All right. So there you go, everybody. <laughs> Hope you like this. Plugs behind here. Switches in oh, the, how big right is here. This door? There's this another plug for, yeah. Front door? 36 inches. That's big. Yep. We can get grandma in here. My mom could have lived in this house. She could all right? have. 
I think it would have probably been better than her 10 by 20. And yes. the reason I say it is because her hospital bed, her twin bed was right there, mm -hmm. enough for a lazy boy chair mm -hmm. that she had. For a guest. And a TV. And that's all she navigated. Mm -hmm. And then she went up and then she just, it's, it's actually better because it's closer. Mm -hmm. You come here, you got your sink, you got your kitchen, and then she can walk straight to the bathroom. Now, something I just want to point out really quick. I did uh, purchase this on Amazon. Will you show what goes on with that this coffee awesome. table? And yeah. this is where it will help you. You can eat dinner. You can do have a, a, a table for a working on, a, a workspace and everything. Yeah. So, so that's almost like your dining room table. And storage. So you can sit over there. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah. Set. Come on, buddy. You can set up your laptop. You can yep. eat dinner. Oh, I love and it so much. And there's plenty of storage. Yep. Here you. <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> People may be surprised, but me and Randy do not have a computer. No. We do not use a computer in the office. Neither Maybe one of us phone. do. Both of us are just done. And then you kick back. Yeah. I'm gonna watch some tube. Exactly. That's it. Fall That's asleep. It. I can't I get love over it. it. You know what the big you know what the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that I love about this, I love Amanda? This mirror too. Is that you can live in this home. You can actually have a home, right? Yeah. With no mortgage. Yes. There you go. That's it. No money coming out of that pocket right there. Mm -hmm. Now, do we think this is like a fourteen thousand square foot house? No. Uh, no. It's we don't not. have a roller blade course or a bowling alley in the basement, right? Did you say a roller blade course? Oh my god. But think You're about so this. Embarrassing. This is great temporary housing for maybe 14 or 15 years. Then when you get enough money, you can do what you want, right? Do you know what apartments are in New York? Do you know what apartments are in Boston? Do you know where, you know what I'm saying? This is usually, this type of space is permanent housing forever for yeah. some people. I know, you Unbelievable. know, and everybody see them say, well, you know, I can't get a, I can't get a, a, this box in New York or Boston. I can't put mm -hmm. it there. And that's true. You can't. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm legislating. But but you know, talk on the other the other side of the coin. What yeah. about people who are wanting to have an income? Yes, this is a great Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Rent these things out. You guys know Getaway, the great Getaway Airbnb company. This is the floor plan. The only thing is they put a picture window right there, and they put a bed so you can look outside and see the fire popping. Right. Same thing. Maybe about four foot longer. This is the getaway. You put a bed here, beautiful. You can even take that window out if you're a homeowner, take it out, cut in a picture window, pop it in quicker and easier than a regular stick, freight, stick framed home. You don't have sheetrock, you don't have siding, you don't have studs, you don't have electrical. You have nothing to contend with when you're wanting to change anything on these exterior walls. You can take a regular skill saw and just mark out where you want to cut the hole and cut the line and pop in a window or what you would need to do in it. Wow. All right? I love it. Amanda, the one feature we're forgetting is right below you on the floor, mm -hmm. that box right That's there. True. Now, we don't use a box anymore, but that is a hot and cold water and a drain for a future either sink. a sink or if you wanted to put a tongue box out on your tongue, you could actually mm -hmm. build a little box and put a washer and dryer and cut a hole in that wall and install your combo washer and dryer out on the tongue box. Okay, All right? that is great to know. The, the, one of the, the second best feature, other than not having a mortgage on here, is this is a DIY. Yeah. Just like that right there, the washer and dryer is a DIY that you can put a box and do it yourself, right? Now look at all the volume above me. So if somebody said, you know what, I got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you could put your some shelves up here. You could put a loft across here and have more storage if that's something that you would like to do. We said a desk, entertainment center. You've got all this space here that's still going up that we yes. use for decorating. Mm -hmm. You could put shelving across here for your kitchen. You could go to Lowe's. You could put counter, I mean cabinets, upper cabinets if you'd like on here. You know, I've got a cutting board, kind of a, an, an old butcher block that I mounted here. Mm -hmm. I just put screws in it and hung my pots and pans. Yep. Curtain. Reason we don't put a door in here, we're trying to keep this thing down at 20, Absolutely. 20 grand, right? Put you your rod, put you a curtain across. Oh, yeah. Now, I keep forgetting about the magnets. It's magnetic. Everything. These are magnetic right here. Shelves right there, Randy. Take one of those off and show that. Yep. That's a magnetic, uh -huh. and they are, <laughs> they are strong. Isn't that cool? You can Boom. also stick those to the outside of the house, and yes. you can put up fake, these fake plants, put them outside and if stick you, it to the side of the house. 
I don't know if anybody's looked into magnets. You might want to now that if you're going to think about getting one of these mm -hmm. homes. I got a magnet with a hook on it. Somebody guessed they gave them to me here. Mm -hmm. And I put them in my ceilings. I put them along my door. And I leave them for coat racks. I hang my mm -hmm. clothes, my towel. Sure. Like in here in my bathroom, I've got my towel. So I put a couple hooks right here. I'll hang mm -hmm. my towel. It dries out. Um, yeah, I love the magnets. I love it. I want to look into more and getting. Now, the thing is decorating. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's say you painted it. And like Amanda said, once you're in here, it's like, wow, it, mm, it just, the, the, all the screws and the panels. They almost kind of disappear. I know. You really don't pay attention to it. You really I don't. I never do in my house. Mm -hmm. Once I'm in, I'm done. But if you do want to cover these things, you could probably, I've never used it, a real heavy textured wallpaper. Sure. The foam panel squares. Mm -hmm. they, they actually take this flooring that's a wood grain floor that's mm -hmm. got to stick them on the back. Okay. And you can put a wood grain uh, wall or wainscoting wall. Mm -hmm. There's so many other things that you and can two, put on And two, wallpaper is back in. Vintage wallpaper, all kinds of cool wallpaper and things like that. Yeah. That is super in. I just think that this is just, you could do something like that. And then if a year you don't like it, do something else. It's inexpensive. Yep. So yep. just do it because you're doing the labor yourself. And so. I'll tell you what, I know I know the ladies may be thinking about sheetrock mud. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. It is not physically hard mm -hmm. to do. You can get some mud that's called Durabon, mix it with water, take okay. a pan and a knife, and just take your time. And if you wanted to cover these screws, you take and just putty over them, right? We should show. I think we showed that once, but we could do I that did. again. I did. I'd love to show. I love doing that kind of work. It's really nice because you can create any kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You could even put texture in here yeah. with the Durabon sheetrock. I know uh, um, we have one customer. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say her name, but she's taken the foam Paula. light. Just the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, panels look like Victorian mm -hmm. ceiling panels and with just the swirls. Foam squares. That's it. And she painted them and it made they them look, look rustic and like rusty. And she popped them all over the ceiling and now she's got a textured ceiling. They look ceiling. like real metal squares. Square that she tiles. has it like a tin up there. But when yeah. her house gets done, because it's like the steampunk yeah. look, uh, we're going to get to tour it. She told yeah. us so. And she's got the so mm -hmm. uh, foam panels. All right. So. All right, buddy. Thank you. I know I've been rattling a lot of information. We try to get this to you so this don't rattle on or go on for a long time. I'm excited about this house. Mm -hmm. There's no other home in the country right now selling for $20,000 no. with all of these amenities. Come on. And I know people are asking me, Randy, how long can you keep the price down? I had a, I had a friend of mine call me yesterday. And he said, I don't know how you're keeping those prices yes. so low, Randy. When all of our, He said our costs in building residential homes have went up. I th what is it from from about ninety ninety five dollars a square foot to over a hundred and fifty dollars a square foot? Wow! So what is that? Fifty percent, sixty percent? That's not... unbelievable. These have not budged. Nope. We're still at twenty grand. We started at the first of the year. We're still at twenty. I don't want to ever go up if I don't have to, but you never know. So, and I know I'm like, well, that's my sales pitch. Hurry and get them. Well, get them while they're hot. All right. Yeah. We do have called the grab and goes. You guys can pull up today, buy one, twenty grand. See you later. Bye. Yep. All right. And we've already had, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six people do that. And we're going to have another one this week yeah. do that. We're excited about this. This is just a division of our company. We mm -hmm. still do customs or we really do our model lines or big homes, $100,000 know, uh, homes to mm -hmm. $50,000 homes, stick built. We do that and we do this. This is two complete different animals and our company does both yeah right mm -hmm. so we're excited about both of those homes i love this is because it is so inexpensive and it's versatile and it's practical and it's going to take so little um money yeah and time to customize to, it to customize to, to make yeah. it look like a home it is not going to take it didn't take us that long really painted and i went to ross and bought some stuff done i must say it's over right. you know what i'm saying i gotta, okay. quit, gotta quit talking that I just, want to, I just want everybody to see this. I want the world to see yeah. it. If you could share this video, please, just let them know that what we're doing here, mm -hmm. and it's just exciting. All right? Well, he don't look excited. No, he's bushed. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. $20,000, 8x16 in Credibox.